I know the Lord will make a way for me. I know the Lord will make a way for me. If I should live a holy life, shun the wrong and do the right, I know the Lord, He'll make a way for me. Without God, I can do nothing. Without God, I am nothing at all. Without God, my whole life is empty. Like a ship without a sail, without God, I can do nothing, and without God. Lord, I am nothing at all. Without God, my whole life is empty. Like, like a ship without a seal. Hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I heard a voice of Jesus say, Come on to me and rest. Lay down thy we wanna Lay down thy head upon thy breast. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, be my guide. As I walk along the way, the way is narrow. Holy Spirit, be my guide. Holy, holy, are you Lord God? Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, Amen. You know, today is a day that has burst from eternal ages, a day that 
we wasn't expecting to see, but because of God's grace and because of God's mercy is why we are here yet another day, another hour, another minute, another second. So if you are looking at this live, um, at this video, I was about to say live, but if you are looking at this video, I just want you to raise one hand and I want you to raise the other hand. And I want you to raise your foot. And if you can do those things, it means that you have been spared. You are alive where you can give God all the praise and all the glory and all the honor that is due. Not what is left, but give him what is due to his much. Listen, God's name is so worthy to be praised and is so, so worthy to be held in counsel. He's the king of all kings, judge of all men. Listen, God is amazing. God is wonderful. God is gracious and he's merciful and he deserves, he deserves the praise because let me tell you, life is just passing by. It's just going its way and time is not waiting on you. Time is not waiting on me for us to get things together, for us to treat people right, for us to learn to forgive. Listen, if God can send forgiveness to us when sometimes we don't really, we don't really deserve forgiveness, but God is so good and so great that he he, he, listen, he forgives us even when we don't deserve it. When we least deserve forgiveness, he sends it. So the person that you are contemplating on forgiving, I want to tell you that you need to forgive. Let that forgiveness that God gives to you flow through you to forgive someone else. Work up the courage to forgive. It may not be easy and forgiveness is not an easy thing because sometimes people may do you some things. But listen, forgive. Forgive, forgive. The word of God said to forgive those our trespasses. Listen, we must forgive people. Whether listen, whether they have done you wrong, and I know you have been through some things that people, sometimes church people may put you through, but forgiveness is the key. Because forgiveness is your password. Praise the Lord. Forgiveness is your password. Continue to worship God despite of. Worship God in advance when things are rough, when the waves, when the waves are rough and your faith begin to, sh listen, your faith begin to quiver. I want in the middle of that storm, do not lose your momentum. And although people may do things to make you upset, do not lose your momentum momentum because anger lies in the bosom of fools continue to serve God be joyful be joyous every day is not going to be a good day every day is not going to be an easy day but continue to praise God through it all listen praise God in the middle of the storm praise God in the middle of the night from the time you wake up in the morning God is waiting to hear from you God wants to hear from you Praise God through it all. Praise God despite of what it is. Listen, listen, the Muslims pray five times a day. I think it's five times a day the Muslims pray. And we probably may pray when we wake up in the morning. And sometimes we might pray if we feel like it before we go to bed. But let me tell you something. Make prayer your lifestyle. Make prayer prayer something that you do daily from the time you turn and you feel like praising God it doesn't matter who is there it doesn't matter who is in the midst or who is amongst you let them know that you are not ashamed to give God praise let them know that you are not ashamed to give God thanks and you are not ashamed to say that worthy is the lamb you are holy oh God you are awesome you are Adonai you are Listen, praise the Lord. You are God by yourself. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Emmanuel. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are the God of Shadrach. You are the God of Meshach, the God of Abednego. You are, you, listen, you are God in the lion's den. You are I just want to praise God and I want you to praise God. Just praise God because, just praise him because even if you don't feel like it, do it anyhow. Even if you, listen, even if you're tired, just, even if you don't want to kneel down, just lie down and say, Lord, I thank you. 
because his name is awesome and he has been good through it all despite of whatever going on in this world God has been showing us his love he he is the putter. We are the clay. Ask God to mold you and to make you after his very own will. Ask God to guide you. Yes, times we may fall down, but even when you fall down, the word of God said that God is always there by your side. He will not leave you and he will not forsake you. Praise God in the midst. Praise him in advance because you know every struggle that you face, you and I, we both know that God is the only one that has been pulling you out that drought. God is the only one that has been pulling you out of that dry place. So why not just praise him in advance and keep faith that he would take you out even this time around, even though you are at your lowest point, even though you are down to the ground and you feel like there is no one there. You feel like there is no one listening. There is no one answering because you are not getting an, any answers at this point in time. But I want to tell you that God said to tell you that he needs to be praised in advance. Say thank you to God in advance. Have a blessed day and do not forget to praise God in advance throughout your storm. Pray your way out of your storm. Do not be scared to praise God. Do not be scared to worship God wherever you are at, at whatever point in your life. If Even if you're in a crowd, still praise God. Have a good day today and listen, God is good and make sure that you worship, worship your way throughout whatever your situation is, worship your way out. Praise the Lord.